Hey guys, we're at SeaWorld San Antonio for the 2021 opening day of the Seven Seas Food Festival. We can't wait to get started. We've got our lanyard, got the pass holder discount, so we've got 18 punches between the four of us. So let's go check this place out, see what we can find to eat. We got the garlic cheese bread and the Caribbean jerk pork mac and cheese. Huh? Give it a shot, see what it is. Pretty good? Yeah. Pretty good? Not bad. You're the resident mac and cheese expert. What do you think? So let me get a little bit of pork. Let me, get, let me get a little bit of this pork and a little bit of mac and cheese. Give that a shot. Mmm. That's really good. Really good. Not too spicy. Goes really well together. I like that. So at the first booth, they combined Brazil and Jamaica. I'm not sure why, because on the map they're still separated. So I don't know if they're just doing both here and there'll still be a, a Brazil or a Jamaica booth down the road. We'll find out when we get over there. But anyway, these first two things look pretty good. Beef street taco. Mm -hmm. The taco's pretty good. What you think? Pretty good? All right. So for the Hawaii booth, we got the sticky ribs and the pina colada sorbets. <laughs> so the consensus on that one was that the ribs were okay. Not spectacular, but okay. Sorbet's not bad. Sorbet's pretty good, actually. Ribs, not so much. But... We're moving onward and upward. All right, so here we have the Italian meat lover. Here we have the chicken margarita flatbread. Let's give these things a try and see what we think. <laughs> Not impressed. <laughs> mm -hmm. So of the two, I like the margarita one the, the best. Oh, it's got this pesto and uh, balsamic vinegar on there. 
It's really good. Now the thing about that booth, very, very slow. They weren't, they didn't have any ingredients pre-cut, so they were cutting ingredients as you were ordering, and it just took a really, really long time to get through that line. So it was good. Don't do it if you're in a hurry. All right, so we're at Greece and we are trying the baklava. So check it out. expected it to be a little crispier but it's got a lot of honey on it so it makes it kind of gooey some more of that kind of reminds me of a fig newton is that what y'all are getting well, we're kind of still working on it but i don't know what y'all think of it it's okay it's just okay. really chewy So the beer cheese sponsor was really good. I enjoyed it. Girls enjoyed it. I think we're gonna head over to what will probably be our either our last, our last or our second to last. What you doing in there? <laughs> Is that last or second to last food booth? We're heading to France. To the left. Viva la France. We go. So this is not going to be our last stop. I'm actually going to have one left after this, so we'll see. I've got two crepes and a creme brulee coming. So we have the Cuban crepe, the chocolate cherry crepe, and the chocolate creme brulee. How's the creme brulee? Good. Good. Really good. How's the Cuban? Cuban's good. I'm still struggling trying to eat it. Are you still tr you're struggling over there? It's hard with a plastic fork. Well, that's true. That's good. Well, the consensus is it's all good from the French place here. So, definitely a winner in our boat. While the girls eat the crepes, I'm on a quest to try to spend my final credit before the food booth closes at six. About 15 minutes from now. So I'm gonna head back to the Greek booth. I don't know what I'm getting yet though. I'm either gonna grab a Euro or one of those lamb sliders. And then right across from there, Shamu Stadium, there already is a line for the 6.30 show. So we're gonna try to get into it. Four o'clock, it hit capacity about 20 minutes ahead of the show. So we'll need to be really in line by six so not a big time window doesn't look like there's many people in line at the greek booth and it's literally across from it so see if we can make this work there's a living catch here there it is perfectly good euro and with that we are done we've hit all 18 of our punches so not a bad day we managed to accept the challenge and get through it so we're gonna go check out this final show and see what it's like that's gonna wrap it up for us from the seven seas food festival here at sea world san antonio i think our favorites were what the corn on the cob the jerk pork mac and cheese that was pretty good y'all love the stuff from france yep. right that yeah. was good 
crepes and creme brulee. Crepes and creme brulee, definitely good. The sticky ribs were kind of a, a strike. Didn't care for the baklava all that much. The flatbreads were eh, hit or miss. But their other stuff pretty good. So that's it. We had a great time. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Take care, y'all. Give them a good take care, y'all. Take care, y'all. <laughs> take care, y'all. Take care, y'all. <laughs> See ya.